So we're working on a project for designers and developers to help blur the lines between mockups, prototypes, and production apps. So we're still super early into it, but we wanted to share what we have and get some feedback. So on the left, I have a sketch document, and on the right, I have a full live Meteor web app running. It doesn't have to be Meteor. It could be Angular, React, jQuery, etc. cetera, uh, but we'll just use it as an example. Now this app has a few different templates running it uh, for the header and for the place review container. And all of that is controlled over here uh, by the sketch document, where we have a couple of symbols and a couple of specially named layers. So if I change any of these uh, specially named layers on the left, we should see it update immediately on the right. And now that we see the design in uh, the browser, we see that we've kind of gone overboard with the sketch uh, effects. So let's go ahead and dial it back and see if we can fix this up a little bit. So the first thing I'll do is drill into the image here and I'll go ahead and remove the blur. And if we sync that across, we should see that the browser updates immediately. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing for uh, the review count where we'll turn the rotation back down to zero. We'll change the color to something more font-like. And let's choose a web safe font and we'll go ahead and make that bold and if we go ahead and sync that we see that it updates very nicely over here on the, the right now we'll I like the drop shadow on the title here but let's go ahead and remove it on the review text and let's try left aligning that since it looks a little bit awkward over here Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Yeah, just as I thought, it looks a little bit better without the, uh, the drop shadow on the place title as well. So, all of the data for this is actually being run from a Meteor app. And so here we're using the just a bit of JavaScript, the simulated database. And if we update this, we should see it update over here. Uh, immediately. And that goes for any of these different uh, attributes. And if we add another place, we see that we get it immediately here in the browser. So again, this could be any JavaScript framework that we've chosen, uh, but the point being that the templates are defined and controlled inside of Sketch. And we do a lot of automatic detection of different parameters, but you can also override them for things like uh, parent-child relationships, etc. Uh, that's about it. I want to get some feedback on this. Definitely appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.